Hey friends, I'm on here for my Sunday episode of Let's Be Real. You're probably going to hear noise in the background. I got my nieces over here and we're just having fun spending some time um, with the girls while they're on their winter break. But anyway, I wanted to hop on here and share um, what I felt was on the Lord's heart today. And um, the topic for today is what is meant to be will be. <clears throat> and I know a lot of us have been contending for a lot of things, believing um, that, you know, God's promises that he's made to us, you know, believing that they will come to pass. And here we are in the end of December, the tail end of the year. And a lot of us have still yet to see those promises being fulfilled. But I want to encourage you that what is meant for you will not pass you by. I just really felt impressed upon the Lord to share with you. Um, don't give in to worry and anxiety and fear that you're going to miss the blessing or miss the promise that you may not, you know, be in the right position. Um, I really feel like the Lord is saying to you that that is the enemy trying to get you distracted so you're not um, living from the place of victory. And so it's important that you continue to worship the Lord and thank him for the promises that he's given you, even though you have yet to see them because they are on the way. And I know last week, um, I was talking about how difficult it was to press in, but I really felt a shift happen in the spirit this week. And I have just enjoyed um, spending time with the Lord and, you know, getting in worship and just thanking him in advance for what he has told me that he is going to do in my life and in the lives of those that are around me. I'm continuing every day to pray for the salvation of the friends and loved ones that the Lord has placed on our heart, even though um, we have yet to see those promises being fulfilled. But I know that God... Um, He's, he will fulfill his word and his word will not return void. And whatever it is that he has promised us, he will do. So I want to encourage you that as you go throughout your week, you know, this is the week of Christmas and it's not easy for a lot of people. Um, but I just want you to come at it from a place of victory. Just come at it um, thanking the Lord for what he has promised you and just praising him in advance for those promises that are on the way. You know, there's still time left um, in the year for things to happen. And even if it rolls over into 2021, that's okay. God's timing is perfect. And what he has meant for you will be. You will not miss his blessing. I remember there's a song that was saying um, while I was growing by, I mean, growing up, um, pass me not, O gentle savior, hear my humble cry. God hears your humble cry and he is not going to pass you by. And so I just want to encourage you and I pray that you will start this week out with a different perspective. If you've been worrying or having anxiety about the things that are yet to come, just turn that around and start praising the Lord and acting like you already have the victory. Walk in it before you receive it. You have to feel it in your heart and see it in your mind um, and speak it out. Speak it out. Use your voice. And that's important for those promises to be fulfilled. There are a lot of things that I have been believing for. And I've even taken some steps to do prophetic acts to um, show the Lord that I am trusting in his word. And I know what he said that he's going to do. So I have done, you know, several different things. Um, just letting God know that I'm ready I am waiting for that promise to be fulfilled and I'm taking these steps and doing these little things to prepare myself and to just show you that I'm thankful and I'm grateful for you even making the promise to me. And so I hope that blesses and encourages you and I am praying for you this week that you will receive the victory, that you will receive those blessings that you have been looking for and um, even if it doesn't happen within the next, you know, few days the end of the year it's okay they will not pass you by all right i love you guys and i hope you have a very blessed and merry christmas see you next week blessings Bye bye